everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. There you can read this forecast, come get your own private eclipse reading, and check out my mentorship program, classes, all those great things. So, thank you for watching me today. Today I want to talk about the new moon solar eclipse that we have on February 26th. Yes, eclipses, they happen in pairs. The next one is less than two weeks away now that we've had that wonderful full moon eclipse in Leo on February 10th. So, what are you releasing? What are you letting go? Remember, this period in between the parentheses of two eclipses is really key in shedding and letting go of those things that are no longer serving you. The things, like I've said before, that were there protecting you and helping you to grow and keeping you safe and secure while you're growing no longer fit, no longer suit us, just like that egg I described in the last video. You know, we're inside the egg and then we grow and the shell protects us, right? And then at some point it starts to hinder us. So these old beliefs and these old ways of thinking and being are no longer serving us. So it's time to shed our skin, to break out of our shell and to step into the next level of those things that we're creative about and that we're passionate about. Now, that new moon on February 26th, again, it is an eclipse, is in the sign of Pisces, eight degrees of Pisces. And it is conjunct Neptune, when Neptune's at 10 degrees of Pisces. And then we also have, at the same time, Mars and Uranus conjunct in an opposition with Jupiter. Pull it apart for you right now. So, solar eclipse at eight degrees of Pisces, conjunct Neptune, is all about us engaging our spirituality, engaging that compassion within ourselves engaging and understanding that sensitive person that we are, trusting our sensitivities, trusting in our intuition, taking new steps towards a different type of spirituality, whatever that means to you. Check out where it is that you feel, you know, your spiritual life needs to grow now. Things that you have done in the past that have brought you to where you are, they no longer serve you anymore. It doesn't mean you have to, it doesn't mean they're not valid, it's just you don't need to practice that. It's part of you. You've integrated old ways of being and old types of things and types of spiritual practices and beliefs. And once we really integrate that, we, we don't have to make a point to constantly um, work with it. We need to work with things that are coming up, what am I trying to say here? New things for us, things that are more um, at another level for us. So with this eclipse, work with your spirit, work with new angels, work with your old ones, but work with new ones, invite new ones in. What is it that you want to do that's different and new in your spirituality? These are some of the biggest things here. Prayer and meditation and really any of those things that you like to engage in that is all about your own spiritual practices. Other things that we could focus on during this new moon eclipse, because we love to set goals during new moon eclipses, is our imagination. Again, that internal peace and harmony that we have within ourselves and setting goals relating to that. Now, Pisces also has a dysfunctional side, like every zodiac sign and every person has a dysfunctional side. But in the dysfunctional side, here we have, um, we can feel like a victim, we can have anxiety, we can feel defeated, addictions and disappointments, things such as that. So when we have a new moon, and maybe some of these things are part of your behavior, this is an opportunity to step into some healing, because this is a real deep level of spiritual healing. And if you have addiction problems, drugs, alcohol, or things such as that, this is um, Pisces energy with this new moon is all about um, like AA, believing in that higher power, trusting that higher power, and really focusing in on that so you're able to get to a different place in your life when it comes to the spiritual practices. So this is just scratching the surface. I don't want to go on too long, but this is just scratching the surface about the information of this new moon solar eclipse. I have the written forecast posted all over the place on my website, on Facebook, so you can read that too and, and get... Um, Print that out and actually get out your highlighter and highlight the things that are really important for you. And that's the best way to use this new moon in Pisces. 
And so next, I'm also going to tell you what I think about Mars and Uranus conjunction. 21 degrees of Aries. Mars loves being in Aries, hometown for it, right? And we know what Uranus and Aries has been like for the last number of years, but especially recently, because it what it does um, with both of these planets conjunct in Aries, building up till now, especially January through February, especially since Mars has been in Aries, um, we're feeling really feisty, really independent, a need to be very, very assertive, which you can call aggressive. Um, I want you to think back to March 10th, 2015, get out your calendars, journals, whatever you like. It's like, what was I doing on March 10th, 2015? This is an important period because that's the, the last time that Uranus and Mars were conjunct. They're conjunct again, but they're conjunct during this eclipse, and Jupiter isn't in opposition to them. And so I'm going to tell you exactly what to expect, and we expect the unexpected as well. But when Jupiter's in an opposition to these guys, it inflates what's going on. Plus, we weren't having an eclipse the moment at March 10th, 2015. So this is different, but similar. So look back to that date, see what you, what you felt, where were you feeling edgy, where were you feeling independent, and you know that's going to happen again, because cycles do repeat. So we get to work on things again. If it was a crazy day, and you're like, I don't ever want to do that again, then that's fine too, because this new moon in Pisces helps us to understand on a different level things that are going on around us. So, that Uranus-Mars conjunction is feeling this sudden desire, like I already said, to be assertive, aggressive, to take steps, to take actions, especially actions without thinking. It's just, I want to go do this, I need my freedom now, and I'm going to do it no matter what. So if you're feeling super edgy, I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I have it, I don't have a prompter in front of me like some, um, if you're feeling super um, edgy and you, you feel like you just have to break free from something because you can't take it anymore, make sure you spend just, I would ask you to spend just a little time in contemplation and meditation and through that compassionate heart of yours, decide and see if it is really what's truly best for you and for all involved. But really what's best for you, since this is all Aries energy, we are focusing on ourselves. Now, this, so this is edgy and this is assertive. If you're already that way, then this is just going to be fuel for the fire. So you're already an edgy, assertive, or aggressive person. You're just going to continue to be that way. You have to be careful. If you move too fast, sometimes injuries happen. But if you're a passive person and you prefer just to stay in the background, we can see lately how there's just so many people who are, who are, the crowds at protests are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this edgy energy is actually motivating people who wouldn't have been motivated before now. Even though they have feelings and opinions about things, they're not motivated to go out and show that to the world. This is their opportunity now because we're feeling the need no matter what. We can get beyond our personal fears and go fight for what we think is right. This is what we're doing with this Mars and Uranus conjunct. So this Mars and Uranus energy can help us to wake up. Wake us up from the long sleep that we've been having, this spell of illusion that many of us have been on. You know, we have a president that's really very edgy and showing us a lot of things that we never even believed existed, how things have been, whether you like them or not, is not my point. The point is, is he's creating an edginess in everybody to wake up, take a stand for what you believe in, and do it. That's one of the things that this eclipse, in my opinion, is all about. It moves, it it's, it's a movement. We have to have this Aries for this Pisces energy to work. Aries says, let's go, let's go, let's go. And this Pisces energy says, I can see the bigger picture. So if we can do these things with a compassionate heart, stand up for what you believe in, then we are in the midst of a worldwide change here. And what does it look like in your own personal life? That's where I come in if you want to know what that personal information is for yourself. You know where to find me. So I'm going to leave you with that. It's time for many of us to wake up. And many of us are waking up now. And this is the energy of this Pisces eclipse and this Mars and Uranus conjunction in Aries. The spell is over. We are waking up now. And so, woohoo!
I was with my hand down. You know where to find me for your own personal and private sessions. Thank you so much. Please comment below. Please share and like this video and please subscribe. Blessings. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.